You're on. I look through my window and who do I see? I see Ernie, I see the friends. They're looking back at me. Did you check out this cool junk we got this weekend? Hmm. This came uh, from, a, from a, a package and it was a big screen that came in and I thought to myself, oh, this reminds me of the painted castle we used to do in section B. I wonder if we'll do anything with this. You think we can, Ernie? Yeah. Maybe we'll make it into an art project or something. That might be fun. Welcome to virtual classroom day number four. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2020. We can write that out 32320. And this is the fourth day that we're meeting at the virtual classroom. So I welcome you. Welcome back from a great weekend. I hope you guys had lots of fun this weekend. I know our family did. We had a great time. Uh, you know, I had hoped for less digital time and we had pockets of less digital time, but I had a lot of work to catch up on. But uh, the best part of our weekend was a hike. We went to um, Lake Rebecca Natural Preserve, I think it's called. Yeah. Is that right, Ernie? And that uh, is, uh, it's kind of out by Delano, kind of kind of out, um, it's, uh, it's, it's the, probably the north northwestmost part of, uh, the, the Three Rivers Park System. So it was really cool. We had a great hike. It was about seven miles. Ernie ripped it around on his Razor scooter. It was so much fun. There was adequate social distancing between everybody. So we kept it safe. And when we get to the journal part, Ernie will probably want to show you something about the park. But we'll so, get to that. Huh? I also want to add something. There's a very good playground there, but I don't think you should go on it But now. But the, if you do go after the coronavirus, there is a great playground there. That's a really good recommendation. I like you recommending that people should be staying off the play equipment now. In fact, Sienna, as we get to team content, she sent some pictures. Our favorite park, Alden Park, is all roped off now. They fenced it off. So uh, in order to stop the coronavirus in its tracks, we're not going to be able to play on play structures for quite some time. So that's going to require us to do some other kinds of play. We'll figure out more as we go along, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I like that spirit. Well, let's see. What did I forget about? How could I forget about it? Time it's time for... Content! Team content! And oh my goodness, was it an amazing team content weekend. It's absolutely amazing. You guys sent so many entries. It started with Felix B. He sent some awesome tube playing. You know how we like to drop those cars through the tubes? He was doing that and having so much fun. He even sent in a dancing video. I loved watching you dance, Felix. Elijah, oh, he's starting to decorate his room. He has an official alphabet up. He has numbers going on. And they're making balloon animals. I love it. Bodhi, he's been having a hard time communicating to his neighbors. So they've been making posters in the window and putting them up for each other to see. That's a great way to send messages to your neighbors. Oh, if you haven't seen the scary box video, you better. And Maher and Cameron. Maher and Cameron actually had a virtual play date. They sent in pictures from it. It looked absolutely wonderful. Thank you boys for showing us, for demonstrating how we can connect with the virtual play date. That was inspirational. Ayan, she's been practicing on his counting, building spaceships, and he even made a video for us about missing us a little bit. We miss you guys a lot. Gabe made a video, his whole family made a video. They made a story time video. If you haven't checked that out yet, you better. That's a really good one. Thank you, Gordon, for your excellent reading skills too. Mackenzie, she's been very busy with collage making these days and she's still on her animal study. She's studying the pig-nosed turtle right now. I wonder what today's animal is. We're just gonna have to find out. Sienna did a neighborhood report. Her daddy and her mama, they've been peddling around the neighborhood to see how the neighborhood around Harley has changed. She always goes by and greets Harley Hopkins and she waves to the classroom. And thank you for doing that, Sienna. You keep letting us know how things are in the neighborhood. Uh, and she also gave a yummy, yummy recipe for shamrock shake. That sounds delicious. And Adam, Adam sent in a post last night, and it's about the Grateful Jar. And in his family, each Sunday, they have a jar. It's called the Grateful Jar, and it, uh, you write down someone or something you're thankful for. 
And this week, Adam chose me as the person he is grateful for. And <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you, Adam. Um, that makes my heart feel so full. Thank you. Now, I want to show you guys something. I've been very busy starting to take attendance to see who has been watching these virtual circle times. And I've also been tallying up the team content. So last week, Section H sent in a bunch of team content and Section B sent in a bunch of team content. I'm gonna count them, I'm doing tally marks. Is that right, Ernie, they call us tally marks? Yep. Let me count how we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Section H had 13. Let me count up section B. Section B sent in. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. ten. 10 team content. Now this is amazing. Together, both our classes last week shared 20, <laughs> both our classes shared 23 different learning opportunities. 23 different ways that folks are making this work at home and extending the learning for all. And for all 23 of you, I need to ring the content bell at least 23 times. Oh no, am I breaking the bell? Uh-oh, bell repair. <laughs> Ernie, in production notes, note that we're going to have to figure out how to fix this bell, okay? I love you guys. Keep content. You rock. All right. Moving on. Oh, I might as well show you my fun charts. You probably won't get to see this too well, but I'm making all kinds of fun charts. I'm logging your team content. I'm taking attendance, seeing who's coming to virtual circle time every day. You guys are doing a great job showing up, so thank you. Now on Friday, we talked about the daily three, and I hope you draw a, a favorite uh, winter memory. And when you draw a memory, I'm gonna encourage you to build a journal. We talked about journal keeping. So journals can be anything. This is Ernie's journal that he's been working on. But journals can be anything. They could just be a notebook. They can be a composition book. And they can even be this exciting binder. Look at how exciting this binder is. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> this is my journal. I'm gonna have to work on it a bit. Can you put in the production notes that we'll have to work on the journal a bit, okay? <laughs> anyway, journal making is so important in this because I'm gonna be giving you guys activities. You need to write them down, keep them in one organized place. And this will also serve as a memory book for what the Corona 19 was like for you. And I wanted to show you, well, maybe Ernie can show you. What's up with this? Um, those are the playgrounds that are at the walk. All right, at the park, right? Mm -hmm. At Lake Rebecca? Mm -hmm. And is one the fire tower there? Yep. All right. Yep. It's a, there is a fire tower, but it's a shorter fire tower than most Poor Ernie, fire he, towers. He really, really wanted to go up that fire tower, but we can't do it right now. We're going to return to that park when this coronavirus is all done. I have another daily three for you. Make sure we get to all this. Today's daily three, guys. What was the best part of your weekend? Can you draw the best memory from your weekend and put it in your journal? I'd appreciate that. Take a picture and show me too. I want to put it up for team content. Make some Play-Doh. Does anybody remember yesterday? Yesterday I posted uh, an in-focus segment. Ernie's raising his hand. He remembers. We made some neon blue dough and the recipe is right there. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out and you'll get a chance to see what Mr. Rob looks like in a red beret and you'll get to hear him pronounce cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar? <coughs> cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar to make your Play-Doh, please go online. There's so many, there's probably like hundreds of recipes for Play-Doh, okay? You might not need cream of tartar. I know that's kind of a, uh, kind of a hard um, baking item that some folks don't have. Also, we, on that video, we listed where it is sold, so. Yeah, but limiting social distancing, people sh should be hunkering down yeah. now. You could probably order it on Amazon or I don't know, however.
whenever you're getting an um, Instacart or whatever. So you can put it on your shopping list for the next trip. And then the, the, the uh, third thing I would like you to work on today is I want you to build an airport or something fun with Legos or blocks. And please take a picture of that, send that in for our team content segment. And I want to show you uh, both Ernie and I had a chance to build airplanes this weekend. He actually built an airport. I'll, I'll uh, show it to you later. Ernie, do you want to say about this cool plane? Um, that's one that my mom built. Oh, I thought you built this one. No, mom did it. And I built this one? Mm-hmm. Did you build any planes? I built trucks. He built the trucks, okay, yeah. Anyway, build something fun. Take a picture of it. These are fun. I love them. Um, of course I love it. I made it, right? Yeah. yeah. I should love it. All right. That's what you always say. We're uh, getting on to our resource of the day part. And this is for families. Uh, today's resource of the day comes uh, from my wife, Miss, um, not Miss Eiley. Her, we call her Eiley. Uh, you can call her Eiley too if you want to. And uh, her, her resource of the day is from NPR Classical P Playlists. They're listed on YouTube. I'm just going to read you a, a quick one about it. Sorry, I have my computer here. Let me see. Okay, happy to, here's a few lines and resource about Classical NPR. You can stream Classical NPR from their website, but the announcers are constantly interrupting to tell you about music or weather, which is very distracting if you have to focus on work. What I've discovered is they have classical music streams on YouTube. So you go to YouTube and type in NPR Classical, it comes up with a whole bunch of playlists. They have different themes like studying, focus, spring. There's even a playlist called Puppies. Wow. And they each last one or two hours and you, you just have to watch five seconds of commercials. Then you get to listen for two straight uninterrupted hours. So check that out if you're having trouble focusing or you need some, some, some little background noise but not without the commercial part. Uh, we're coming down to it, so I just want to uh, give some parent notes. Uh, the district is still working on their uh, uh, district learning plan. We are still in pre-distance -dist learning mode right now. Um, so there's going to be a lot more details about how learning is going to change online. And as soon as I know, of course, I'll let you know. Uh, we're, I'm still working on opening up Seesaw so you can post directly. I need to talk to some peers. I took a look at it. It's... Uh, a little outside my wheelhouse, so we're going to figure that Confusing. out. Confusing. Um, I hope to host a live circle at some point. I'm looking at resources for doing that so we can all come together live, which I think that would be phenomenal. Oh, that would be phenomenal. Uh, the teachers are working on linking our YouTube channels together, so there'll be fascinating content available from the other Kaleidoscope teachers. So more to come on that. We're getting real close, and I'm very excited. Um, later today, Ernie and I are going to be doing... Um, uh, a segment on the passion projects that we're talking about. I really want you to be thinking about a big project you want to get done. We're going to talk about passion. We're going to talk about love. And we're going to talk about projects. Projects are fun. Uh, still working on a virtual show and tell concept, so you can send in a video. Um, more details on that. A lot of more details on today, isn't it? My, my mind has been spinning on all this. Maybe I should take it. And those virtual play dates keep them coming. That's, that's what I need to tell you. In addition to our, uh, our project video that Ernie and I will be working on later on today, uh, I'm also going to put up a wonderful book called Caps for Sale. And I'm also going to be singing a wonderful, fun song book down by the bay. Well, I think that just about does it for our virtual circle. Uh, look forward to those other videos coming up later on today and uh, be thinking of these great things. Make sure you get your journal done. You're going to need a journal through all this. Uh, when we get to the real learning part, you're going to have to be able to organize all your work. So I uh, miss you guys a ton, but I'm very happy to be back on this Monday. Enjoy the little bit of snow that fell and let's hope for warm temperatures to come. Want to say bye-bye, Ernie? Bye!